Hey everybody, this is Justin with RockyMountainATVMC.com and in this video we're going to talk about tool essentials for your adventure riding. Alright everybody, you all know how fun adventure riding can be and if you've done it very much, you'll also know that breakdowns are going to happen, whether it's a flat tire or broken engine case, broken lever, whatever, things are gonna happen on the trail. And it's important to be able to get your bike fixed so you can get back on your adventure. So in this video, I kinda wanna break down my toolkit that I carry with me and kinda hopefully give you some ideas on what you should be carrying on your next adventure ride. Keep in mind that everybody's bikes are different. Make sure you know your bike. Make sure you know which tools are important for you to be carrying. Another thing to keep in mind is when you go on an adventure ride and you, you and your buddies are all packing a bunch of tools, take the time to see what he, everybody's packing and distribute them so you're not carrying a ton of weight on your bike. So let's break down my tool pack. First of all, I'm using a Fox Deluxe tool pack. It's, mine's an older one so the color's different. Here's a new one here. It's actually, you know, made to go around your waist. Because I throw this in my panniers, in my luggage, I cut the straps off. So whether or not you want to do that, it may be a good idea to cut the straps off here if you're going to do that and use the pockets on the waist strap. But anyway, that's what I'm using. A lot of guys like using tool rolls. Wolfman has a good tool roll. There's, there's several out there. So let's open my tool bag up. We'll go through each compartment and talk about the different tools that I pack. So starting from my left, we're just going to work our way through my tool pack. So first of all, duct tape. Everybody needs duct tape. You can use it for all sorts of things. Um, here I have some matches. Um, it's kind of emergency use. If I ever need matches, I have some matches in a, in a dry container. In this little container here, I actually keep some five minute epoxy and I just threw it in some little container that I found. I don't even remember where I got the container, but I have my epoxy in here, and that has come in extremely handy in a lot of cases. I've glued KLR radiator fans with that. I've fixed cases. Having some epoxy is very important, which takes me to the other epoxy I have. I have this quick aluminum epoxy. It's kind of like a clay. You mix it together and it forms a really hard epoxy really quick. And it's good for fixing radiators, broken cases, different things like that. So I always pack epoxy. Um, the next thing I have in here is my T-handle. And this is just our Tusk T-handle set. It's got different um, sockets on the end. And I carry extra sockets, other sizes, in one of the pockets that I'll show later. But I use that almost every trip on somebody's bike. Allen wrenches. This is just our Tusk multi-purpose tool. It's also got some Phillips flat blade screwdrivers on it. I carry a razor blade, just a little knife that comes in handy for all sorts of things, whether it's cutting tape or zip ties or whatever. Moving on, I have a screwdriver. This is a Tusk six-way screwdriver. So I've got my different bits in the end the large flat blade, large Phillips. On the other side, I have the smaller ones. Also very handy. I use that about every ride. And then I have a spark plug wrench. Um, this one actually works on my KLR. We sell these in Tusk. We have several um, different spark plug wrenches for lots of motorcycles, but I always carry that. It's pretty rare to have a spark plug go bad on a four stroke but it does happen from time to time, and I'm always worried about water crossings. If I ever dump the bike in water, I wanna be able to pull the plug out and get the water out of, it, out of an engine if I have to. Moving on to the middle of my pack, I have my basic wrenches, um, all the way from an eight millimeter up to a 17. I'm packing these uh, Motion Pro titanium wrenches. They weigh nothing, they're amazing, and uh, and they work well, so wrenches are very important. I'm packing, I have some old levers in here. This is my old broken lever off my KLR. I throw that in here. I don't know, 
I don't know if my tool pack's the best place for these levers, but that's where I have them right now. You never know when somebody's gonna need a lever. Right here, I have some radiator stop leak. If you ever get a small hole in your radiator, it's definitely not a permanent fix, but if you're out in the middle of nowhere and you have a small leak in your radiator, this stuff works pretty well. You just dump a little bit in your radiator and it, as it cycles through, it actually stops the leak. I've had to use that on a few bikes at different times. Then I have my little spark plug caddy here with my spark plug inside. In this little pouch here in the middle, I keep just a lot of hardware, nuts, bolts, washers, and again, I'm picking bolts and washers that I know are pretty common on my bike. So that's that. In this pocket over here, I always pack a piece of fuel line. Um, it's come in handy on several trips. You never know when a fuel line has a problem or it could be used as a vent hose on a gas tank. Um, there's just a lot of things you can do with, with some fuel line. So I, I always pack that. Of course, a tire gauge. I always like to air down when I go off-road and air back up when I hit the, if I know I'm gonna do a lot of miles on the street. You have gotta have electrical tape. Another thing I always pack is master links, and I'm carrying more than one. Again, just in case my buddy isn't prepared, I got a few options if somebody has a chain problem. So I pack master links. High temp Permatex silicone. This one's pretty beat up. It's, it's done a lot of miles with me, but silicone, you can do a lot of things with silicone. I use that quite often, whether it's to fix a leak or fix a gasket, whatever. But I love having silicone with me. Of course, you have to have safety wire. And along with the safety wire, You've got to have zip ties. So I, I keep a few different sizes of zip ties in here. And then I keep some rags and some hand cleaner. Then going out to this outer pocket, this is kind of where I keep my heavier tools. I, I actually have some nitro tape in here. This is from Motion Pro. This is, this one's kind of beat up. Again, it's done some miles. But this is that real rubbery, stretchy tape. It's really good if you ever have to patch a radiator hose. Um, it stretches around a radiator hose real well and it actually works. It'll, it'll seal a, a hole in a radiator hose. So I've actually had to use this once before. Um, this roll hasn't been used yet, but it's another nice thing to keep in the pack. If you're a BMW or a KTM guy, you definitely need some Torx bit. Um, wrenches so that's always nice going to my tire irons the biggest repair that we we do on our adventure rides is flat tires people are always getting flat tires we pick up screws nails all sorts of weird stuff on the trail I always pack tubes and I'll get into that in a minute but the tire irons I like to take are these motion pro bead pro tire irons the spoons on the ends are awesome and on some of the bigger adventure bikes, if you have to break the bead, um, the tool works awesome to break the bead. So, and they're lightweight, they're aluminum. So I really like packing those and I've used them a lot. I have some bailing wire in here, just in case, you never know. And my extra sockets and bits that I talked about that fit on my T-handle. I like packing these little vice grips. The needle nose work okay, but they also have a, a wire cutter on them so I can cut my safety wire or bailing wire. So those are pretty nice. And some pliers. You never know where you're gonna need pliers. Well, my last tool, I'm kind of embarrassed to, to show you that I carry, but I carry it mostly because I ride with so many other people and I don't know what axle wrench they're gonna need so I carry a big, heavy crescent wrench. Um, when I'm packing just for myself, and I know what my axle takes, I usually take, you know, I'll take a, a Motion Pro um, tire iron axle tool. They're really lightweight and they work well. Or I'll pack a Tusk racing axle wrench if it's the front and rear axle. 
It's a lot lighter than packing around a crescent wrench. So going back to flat tires, it's important that you have the right tools for your bike. It's a good idea to pack tubes regardless of whether you're running a tubeless tire or a tube type tire because a tube can easily fix both types. On our last ride we had a tubeless tire with a bent rim and there was no way to fix that tire from leaking air without putting a tube in. So I always recommend packing tubes. Um, we usually pack one of these Tusk tire repair kits. It's got CO2s in it, it's got plugs, all the tools that you need. It's even got some patches for tubes. So it's important to be packing those, those tubes and those plugs. Okay, now that we have the tool part taken care of, um, I want to show you some other essential items that I carry on my adventure rides. First of all, it's oil. Um, you never know when somebody's going to break a case or lose some oil, so make sure somebody in the group is carrying oil. If you're carrying the tools, make your buddy carry the oil. This one's a little beat up because it did go on my last adventure ride. Um, next is my pump. Now this looks pretty ghetto, but it works really well. Inside these two old oil bottles that I cut apart, I keep my little slime um, electrical pump. And this thing has fixed a lot of flat tires. I use it all the time. The wiring I keep in the bottom, but I just plug this into my um, battery tender lead that I have coming off my battery. And then the air chuck is also in there with the hose. So awesome little compact pump kit right here. And this, this slime one has been great. I, I use it all the time. Next, a tow strap. Um, it's just a good idea if you can't fix the bike to be able to tow it out. So I always, I always have a tow strap in there. And then of course tubes. Um, I carry a front and a rear, so I always pack my tubes. If I'm going on a big ride, I always pack an air filter. I oil it, have it ready to go, and then put it in a Ziploc and you can squeeze it down to about nothing. So air filter. And then extra rags and rubber gloves. Um, I throw that in with my tool kit. You know, this stuff here, my filter, toe strap tubes, I usually just throw that in a dry bag and, and squeeze it together real tight so it doesn't take up a lot of room. Anyway, I hope these tips help you on your next adventure ride. Be sure and check out our website. We have all the parts, accessories, tools that you need for your adventure bike, your dirt bike, your ATV, UTV, whatever. We got it. And subscribe to our YouTube channel for more how-to videos and product spotlights. Thanks for watching.